All right, what's up, everybody? So I, uh, I have some seeds that I'm sowing today, some beans uh, and okra. I wanted to sow some corn, but I'm trying to figure out how I want to go about it. I think I may just bring it into this garden bed here and just allow it to grow up and, and um, give some shade to some of these blueberries. Not to the actual leaves or anything, but give some shade to the, the base of the blueberries it gets very hot and I don't, I don't have time to water them every other day like I had to do last year all right it's a quick little uh, show of the garden and then we'll go sow those seeds this is a golden Russian watermelon um, the tendrils are already starting to dry so I believe this is the final size I only had one golden Russian seed, so I, I can't uh, save seed from this and expect to have another golden Russian. Get some uh, sugar rush peach hot pepper. It starts off this translucent green color, and then it turns, it starts getting peachier and peachier. So, the sewing, um, I'm sewing some Arikara Ari yellow um, beans. Sorry about all the noise that's going on. It sounds like they're racing. Racing cars. There's a plane passing over. All right, so this is Ari Kara Yellow Bean right here. Um, I received these seeds in a trade, so I only have 10 seeds. Um, I don't know if it's planted too close since this is my first time growing beans, but I'm gonna do it like I do everything else. <laughs> The, the bottoms on these containers are cut open and I'm just gonna pop these seeds right into the dirt. The mix I'm using is compost and manure. I don't have any fertilizer in here yet. Um, I'm just trying to get stuff planted. And that's 10 bean seeds planted. And then I may do the corn tomorrow. And then I have um, some white velvet okra. So the, the Arikara yellow beans and the uh, white and this white velvet okra, these are these are on a list called the Ark of Taste. There's some, um, it's a list that consists of rare, uh, rare foods, uh, rare and endangered foods that are very delicious. So if you want, if you want to know what to grow, look up foods that are on the arc of taste and they uh they have they have everything they have almost everything on there from tomatoes watermelons cantaloupes they have all type of stuff on there any almost any type of foods you could think of they have something of that of that kind on the arc of taste all right so here i have my uh white velvet okra i'm just gonna do the same thing with this one Sorry, uh, that blowing is loud. I have a lot of nets around me. <laughs> I'm like a blood bank to them right now. Let me back up a little bit. They are heavy right here. And if you notice right here, I have, um, I've been putting grass right here on the edge to uh, keep water in there. And so I won't have to water these, these plants once their roots hit the ground. And once their roots penetrate the ground, just like I did right here, so you can see the difference. So over over the days, I'm gonna um, I'm gonna slowly fill these areas in. I want to have at least I want to have at least four containers, one, and then at least two more right there, and then I'm gonna fill it in, and then so on and so on all around the garden bed. Finish these. And as I said, this is white velvet okra. And you can see how simple this is. I'm, <laughs> I'm literally using minimal effort to get this planting done, but it's gonna look so beautiful. Now this okra could be very, uh, this might be a tight spacing for this okra, but I mean, it's gonna grow. So it's all experimentation for me. I have some Jing orange okra growing, but I'm, I'm not, uh, I'm not sure if if that would be too close for it because i mean the jing orange is about a foot away so the jing orange is planted so i have one planted right here and then one right there so yeah that should be fine all right that should be fine 
And that's that. So I have my I have my white velvet Oracle planted. And then I have some Ari Kara yellow beans planted so we can look forward to harvest for those in the future. I want to show y'all um, some fruit sets on this cream Saskatchewan. Um, I planted two seeds. And I, I tell you, they, they're producing heavy. I don't know if this is a fruit set yet, but that's a new one right there. Uh, there's another one hanging on my navel orange tree. My Washington navel orange is hanging down right there. One right there. Another one right here. And this one is almost ripe. You can see all the drying on the umbilical. Definitely almost ripe. And I already harvested two cream of Saskatchewan, but they were harvested uh, very early. I harvested one on video and another one um, I, ha I harvested before the one that I harvested on video. I harvested it about two weeks before the one that was on video. So that's what, five, that's five cream of Saskatchewan from one, uh, from two seeds. So that's not bad production and it's still, um, it's still putting out flowers and whatnot. So the cream of Saskatchewan is a nice producer. We'll take a look at uh, Enidonia next. And if you're wondering why I get all those weeds from, I get it from my watermelon patch. So it's, it's working a double benefit for me to uh, use those weeds. I, I, I let it grow, I pull it, and I mulch with it, and I'm left with a beautiful looking garden. Um, so any doing ya is still putting out plenty of blooms. I don't see any female blooms right here. I had just saw some. Uh, so that's one watermelon. Two. And this one's getting ready to ripen up. Uh, three. See, this one is definitely almost ripe. This one is probably super red on the inside, but I'm gonna let it sit. Probably has another two weeks left on it. Four. I harvested uh, two on video. On uh, two separate videos, I harvested one each. So that'll be six. This guy here makes seven. And then just the other day, I was on... Um, when I was weeding about two days ago, probably yesterday, I saw this eighth one. I found this eighth one. So Yeni Donia is doing very well. I planted uh, four Yeni Donia seeds and I already have eight melons from it. So that's not bad at all. Two of them I harvested early, just like the uh, like just like the cream of Saskatchewan. You see Yeni Donia still has some female blooms coming. And this one's going to probably open tomorrow. Yep. So that's my garden update, guys. Um, I really just wanted to plant the Arikara yellow beans with you and the white velvet okra since those are some arc of, the, arc of taste varieties. So these are heirlooms. And that's my update, guys.